A linear function represents a quantity to which a constant amount is added for each unit increase of input, and that's key. The difference between two consecutive output values is constant, then you have a linear equation. For exponential functions, though, uh, an exponential function represents a quantity that is multiplied by a constant factor for each unit increase in the input. Uh, if the ratio between two consecutive output values is constant, then you have an exponential equation. So it might be a little easier to understand what that definition means when you actually look at a problem here. So let's scroll down just a little bit. And here, that was a little too much, a little bit, and see, see how that applies. Um, for this one, we're given a chart where t is the years after the year 2000. So notice when I say t equals 0, that's really the year 2000. t equals 1 is the year 2001, and so on. n and m represent the number of people that join these clubs, the New Balance and the Mensa Club. So input is our x, output our y values. And they've just combined the two charts here. What is the initial value for both functions n and m? So for this one, when you talk about an initial value, you're looking at the, um, the y-intercept. So the y-intercept occurs right here when x equals 0. Our y value then is our y-intercept, and that's our initial amount. So our initial value for both n and m are 100 people. So for the next part, what is the difference that implies subtraction in consecutive output values for n? So if I take a look at n, consecutive means one right after the other. So if I take 102 minus 100, that gives me the number 2. And that would be for any consecutive pairs of numbers. So 104 minus 102 or 106 minus 104, they all have a difference, 110 minus 108 of 2. So the difference in our consecutive output is 2. The ratio, now that implies division between consecutive output values for m. So I go to my m column and I do the same thing. I look at consecutive numbers. Um, the year 2001 versus the year 2000, for example. So if I take 200 divided by 100, that's going to give me a ratio of 2 to 1 or 2. Same thing for 400 divided by 200. It would still reduce to the number 2, or 800 divided by 400. Any pair of consecutive numbers, 3200 divided by 1600, is going to give me a ratio of 2. So watch how this plays out in the next part here when we write our equations for both n of t and m of t. Because the difference was constant for our n values, that implies that that's going to be a linear equation. In other words, if I add 2 each time, that's going to take me to the next number. Whereas if I multiply by 2, to each of these, it's going to take me to the next number here. So remember our definition of linear versus exponential. And also remember what our general form is. For a linear equation, we're looking at y equals mx plus b. The m, or our change in rate or number of people per year, is 2. Remember, we go up by 2 each year we go up. So our rate, our average rate of change, or our slope, is 2. And instead of using an x in this problem, we're using the t. Remember back up here, t was our input value. Plus, and then our b represents the initial amount. Well, we already said our initial amount was 100. So if I check this, and I plug in the number 3, representing the year 2003, and I plug in a 3 here, n of 3 is equal to 2 times 3 
plus 100, which gives me out 106 people, and that's what happened. I can do that for 5 as well, plug it in, make sure that I come up with 110 people. So I know my formula here is valid. Now I want to try for m of t. m of t, we said you had to multiply by 2 to get to the next output value here. So when I multiply, that's going to be an exponential equation. So I go back to my exponential form, y equals c a to the x. But we're looking for c and a. So for this one, the c value, your initial amount, again, was 100. And our a value, our growth factor, is 2. That's what we found here. And again, instead of to the x power, it's going to be to the t power. Now check this out to make sure that it works as well. Pick, for example, the year 2002, or t equals 2, and let's plug it in. So m of 2 is 100 times 2 squared. 2 squared is 4 times 100. That gives us 400. So for the year 2002, we did get 400 people out. And you can check again, plug in another number like 5, and make sure that it does come out the amount that you say it should.